When we get together as Unifor in BC, it strengthens our solidarity. We are here to represent our members, but also to do what we can to build a better community and make our province stronger. Looking back over Unifor's short life so far, I think we can all be very proud of what we've already built in just four years. As a social trade union, we are just getting started and I look forward to what we can build in the year ahead. Our members are so inspiring. Despite very busy lives, they're working so hard to make our world a better place. I believe it's always a good, a good thing for members to come to these type of meetings because Unifor is a bigger thing than just your local workplace. Being in the same room together, it's kind of like, like if you exercise in a group, you're gonna like, you're gonna get pumped up, you're gonna feed off each other's energy. We make decisions collectively as a team. When we get into that room, we hear people's stories, the struggles they've gone through, and the things they've accomplished. As Aboriginal and workers of colour, British Columbia was ahead of the curve in terms of fulfilling our mandate, our role, and our responsibility. It's a really good opportunity to meet a lot of really neat people and to learn about each other and support each other. We need to speak about our language around mental health, uh, not defining an individual by diagnosis or illness. Mental health does not discriminate and we don't discriminate with our training. Members can really be advocates for their co-workers so that they feel, everyone feels supported there and that the resources that the union has can be used because people are more comfortable talking about mental health. So I come to you guys to share my story today, not only as an injured worker, but also as a double amputee with third and fourth degree burns to over 60% of my body. When you need your union, and it's always there, um, we're always prepared, we're always um, understanding, right? Because I mean, everybody has a hard time or a good time, right? So let's come together and let's talk about those and make sure that we can get through them. Indigenous people have rights that are rooted in this deep-seated connection to the land, and that this relationship, including its spiritual connection, needs acknowledgement and respect. There are many actions that we can take. I think a core action is cultural competency training, which is really a term for learning where you are, learning about the Indigenous peoples whose lands you are currently residing on, understanding who your Indigenous neighbours are. Congratulations on your victory in British Columbia. Taking out Christy Clark's government is no easy feat. I think great things are going to happen, but we're going to have to continue to work really hard to make sure the political space is open to get the changes that working people in our province have been desperately waiting for. Obviously, we need to support a recommendation for the minimum wage being raised to $15 an hour, but that's just a starting point. The real minimum wage should be a living wage. First past the post is a system for the wealthy. Proportional representation is a system for the rest of us. Having a friendlier government will mean the attack on the labor movement will end. Governing is about credibility. Um, you have to do what you said you were going to do during the elections, and I'm sure John will. But obviously the role of Unifor is to make sure that he does as well. We narrowly have a government in power that is listening to us. We need every local to participate. We need every local getting engaged because the Liberals are going to be coming. They're going to be coming hard and strong. We're being tested about our mettle and who we are because our responsibility is not just about collective bargaining, which is so important to our members, but it's also understanding the roles we have in our communities, our provinces, our countries, and our international responsibilities. We can do all of this when we stick together.